Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today it is Stamping Fun with Gail. This is the card that we're going to be making and it's from the Pretty Pumpkin Stamp Set. So let me get my things together down here and I'll give you all the measurements and we'll get started. First off, we're going to use the Pretty Pumpkins that's in our mini catalog and the matching frameless. We're only going to be using this big one right here in the in the dies, but <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll be <clears throat> excuse me, using lots of the stamps. So we'll go ahead and do that as we're going along and I'll explain it. Okay, also the positive thoughts, we're not using the stamp set, but we are using the frameless that go with it. And we're actually doing this one right here. So you're going to need a piece of Cajun craze, and this is four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half. I went ahead and I already did the inside. And this is four by five and a quarter. Um, I used the soft suede and I stamped off. So first of all, I brushed it all the way around using our blending brushes, which I love. And then I stamped off and then stamped on with this, this particular stamp right here. And then in the Cajun Craze, if friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you, which is also in this set right there. On the top, on the front, I used a piece of bumblebee that measures three by, or three and three quarters, I believe it is, by five. Yes, three and three quarters by five. And I just went ahead and adhered that. I didn't do any um, embossing folder or anything else like that. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. Why is it when you're always on cameras when your glue doesn't want to come out of this bottle? Otherwise, you have no problems, it seems, or maybe not as many. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. Give it a good rub. And then this is the framelet that we used. And I, I did the very same thing. I just sponged around it in the soft suede, and then I stamped off, and I put my flowers around it. Then I took a piece of twine, and I actually did this before I stamped the Cajun, and I just wrapped it around about three times and gave it a bow, and then in the um, Cajun craze again, I stamped So Thankful For You. I went ahead and I adhered this with dimensionals, so we'll get that going. Because it's a little bit bigger and I would like it, and I want to put one over my twine so it stays there. We're going to go ahead and add a couple extra. I'll take off the backings. They're loving to stick to me. They don't want to be dropped off. <laughs> okay. And we're going to just put this on the center. Then I stamped this in the uh, soft suede as well, and then I colored it in the light and dark pumpkin pie, the light and dark old olive, and the light and dark soft suede. And after I got it about where I wanted it, I again put it on dimensionals. All the dimensions and supplies will be listed in the description of my video down below, so you'll have that. And then I just put that on. It's not a hard card to do, but I just think it turned out so pretty. I hope you enjoyed it, and this is it for today. So I thank you so much for watching. If you don't have a demonstrator and would like me to be yours, I would love to earn your business. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I do read them, and I will answer them. Please, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to tap the little bell so you'll get all of my notifications. Um, also, if there's anything I can do, I have an online store, which is at gaildamport.stampinup.net. And I would love for you to go in there and do your shopping as well. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.